Yo, what's up, you beautiful people? It's your boy Aaron, back at you with another video. And today, we're gonna be talking about why you shouldn't join the United States military. You might say, but Aaron, aren't you in the military? Yes. Yes, I am. And that's why I'm telling you why you shouldn't join. Before I get into the video, I just wanna make the clear distinction that I am not a representative. Rep I'm not a spokesperson of the United States military or the Department of Defense. I'm just some black dude talking on the internet, you feel me? In no way, shape, or form am I speaking for the military, Department of Defense, or none of that, you feel me? I'm just some random dude, I'm a nobody. A lot of you guys have been hitting me up saying how I inspired you to join the military. I think that's great, you know, you feel me? I, I was that factor that pushed you to sign that paperwork. I, I, I met, uh, thank you, makes me feel good. But the military ain't all what people make it up to be. So there is some stuff in the military that sucks and like, I think you should know. So number one, you can die, like bro. The United States have so many enemies. Like, there's so many people in the world that want to kill us, bro. And just by putting on that uniform, you are a target. And so that's a pretty big reason I think. Also, also, just think of any scenario in your head, just the worst scenario, like bro, captured by a terrorist group in Afghanistan, freaking held hostage or whatever, freaking head chopped up, bro, that could happen. Bro, like y'all don't understand, this has got to be some sort of misunderstanding. Like, I'm trying to be as calm as possible because I ain't trying to like make y'all kill me, but like bro, for I'm just a dental assistant, bro. Like, I'm not even important, like, bro. You know how replaceable I am to them, bro? Like, bro, for a foreign ass, language. Like, bro, you tell them that y'all have me, bro. Donkey. I may remotely, by the slightest degree, agree with some of y'all opinions, bro. Like, y'all, like, I feel like the media, media like, portrays us like, like we're so divided, y'all. You know what I mean? Like, bro. With we might have some common interests, you know, do y'all like playing soccer? I like playing soccer. Like, let me introduce myself. My name is Aaron. Push on. Yeah. Also, another thing is, you could die and like, it could be for the stupidest reason because of poor leadership. Hey, Sarge, you told me to go over there, but the last three people who went over there got shot. Do you still want me to go over here? You have to freaking follow orders. And so, unfortunately, just gonna be blunt with you guys. Your orders might get you killed. Just know that before you join. Yo, real quick, like the video if you like freedom, you feel me? Like, who doesn't like freedom? And if you don't like freedom, I don't know. But if you do like freedom, you should like the video. Second is toxic leadership. Toxic leadership, for those of you who don't know, is basically people who are in charge of you and they're just toxic. They belittle you, they create work environments that aren't really proactive or catering to you so for an example there's going to be regulations that they put in place that's just going to make you feel stupid toxic leadership isn't throughout the whole military but you most likely will experience some type of toxic leadership and all right next one you're treated like a child so i'm not saying this is all the time but you're most likely going to experience this you're basically going to be told when to go places what to do for example, the COVID shot, right? I was told I had to get the COVID shot. I was told when to get it. I was told I had to get it. Some may say I was treated like a child. In addition to that, your leadership is going to basically make sure that you're going to your appointments on time and that you're actually going to those appointments. And pretty much it depends. Sometimes if you're like, if you do something stupid, they're gonna treat you even more like a child. But it's important to not look at it like they're treating like it's a child. Most of the times, they have people over them that they have to, you know, please. And so, you have to look at it in all the big picture. All right, next one. So, this one is basically more than likely caused by the last two that I just said. But being in the military can take a toll on your mental health. And so, say you're, you know, you're being treated like a child. You have toxic leadership. Somebody who's constantly belittling you, freaking putting you in like terrible positions that you say you don't wanna be put in, or you know, just constantly talking down to you. That's why I say the military can take a toll on your mental health. And so basically, I'm telling you guys that it's important to have a support group and develop healthy habits to, you know, when you leave work, you leave all that stuff at work and you don't bring it to your, wherever you guys reside at. 
and you guys have a support group. Um, I recommend having some type of support group near you physically, you know, so you guys go out, do something, forget about work. But you feel me, your mom, dad, you know, friends back at home, freaking go to the gym, go for a run, play video games, something to get your mind off of work or whatever. And just, you know, feel like you're not in the military because that's really, really important because the military can really take a toll on you guys' mental health and I don't want any of you guys to, you know, deal with it poorly. And so if you guys, you know, have great habits now, you guys can better prepare yourselves for the future. All right, next one. If you guys are in a relationship, it will suffer or like not necessarily suffer per se, but you know, nobody wants a long distance relationship, but you know, in the military, you're gonna be away from home. You're gonna be away from your significant other a lot of times. So that can strain your guys' relationship. So pretty much, if you guys aren't used to that, it might suck. You guys might break up or, you know, one of you guys just might even cheat on each other. So I'm just being blunt. I'm just, you know, telling it like it is, you feel me? Um, Yeah, that might happen. So if you're considering joining the military, keep that in mind. I told you so, if it happens, I told you so. Cause like a lot of that stuff happens, honestly. And it's not just the military, it's pretty much any long distance occupation, you know? When you guys don't see each other or you guys don't communicate with each other every day, you know, feelings get lost or whatever. So yeah, enough with that. Next one, you're gonna miss out on important life events. So pretty much if you have a kid per se, you might miss his birthday a couple times. Um, if you, you know, uh, some other important life events. Now, mind you, if something serious happens, like a death in a family, you guys can get emergency leave and stuff like that. But if the military doesn't deem it like emergency or, you know, important enough to take leave for it, you're most likely gonna miss it. Um, so that's gonna suck. All right, my computer just freaking shut down so I don't have the list up right now. All right, last one, you can't quit. So pretty much all the stuff that I just said that you have to deal with in the military, that you may have to deal with in the military, you can't quit either. Cause like in a civilian job, say you got toxic leadership. All right, I'm gonna leave, F you, you feel me? But no, in the military, you can't just quit. You can't just up and leave. I mean, you can, you feel me? But you know, you might have some repercussions. So I'm not saying that there isn't any way to solve like any of these problems, like toxic leadership, you guys can actually ch has to change your unit. And that's the thing, but you know, that takes time and it's a process. So pretty much last one, you can't quit the military. If you sign a contract, you gotta do it unless you guys, you know, get out some other way like medical retired or um, some other way. So yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, what's up? Subscribe, like my other videos, peace.